to your CTV. Now guys, we've just finished playing Leeds away and it ended Leeds nil, Chelsea nil. Now, I don't really know how to feel about that result, to be honest. I mean, it's a point at the end of the day. We always knew today was going to be a tough game. At least we got the point. I'll take it. However, we want to get three points out of every game, don't we? We've been doing really well recently and... Yeah, we, we want to get three points out of every game. So I do feel slightly disappointed. Um, however, with how that game went, it's good to get a point. It was very intense, in my opinion. It was tough. The challenge does. It was difficult. But to get a point, we'll, we'll take it. That's all I've really got to say. And I know some Chelsea fans might come back at me in the comments and say, yeah, but we need to be winning every game. And I know we do. But it was Leeds away and it's a hard fixture. So at least we got the point and we move on. And so, yes, yeah, so let's go through the game. Um, well, let's talk about starting 11 first. So um, Mendy, as Piliqueta as captain... Christiansen, Rudiger, Chilwell, Kante, Jorginho, Mount, Hakeem, Havertz and Pulisic. Substitutes were Kepa, Jane, Zuma, Emerson, Alonso, Kofacic, Callum Tsunadoy, Werner and Giroud. Um, so yes, that was the start in 11 and substitutes for today. Now, in the first half... Um, I thought it was really intense. They were challenging us. Um, and I was concerned. I was really concerned. Obviously, at half time, it was nil-nil. And I thought, I just don't know if today is going to be our day. I don't know if we've got what it takes to come out in the second half and beat Leeds. And I actually was worried we were going to concede as well because they really did push us in the first half. So going into the second half, I was slightly concerned. Um, however, second half, 48 minutes in, we had a big chance. Havartz took an excellent tour found space and last year's effort straight at the goalkeeper from close range. Um, Havertz again stepped up today in my opinion and I've said it in previous reviews, he's been doing really well for us recently, stepping up and yeah, even though he didn't score, it was good to see that really good effort and we can see him making lots of progress, which is what us Chelsea fans want to see. We know he has massive potential and um, so yeah, it's a promising future. And um, 53 minutes in, Mendy made another unbelievable save. He was brilliant again today. We kept a clean sheet, which is really important, obviously. Um, and yeah, Mendy did fantastic. I was really impressed with him. Um, 68, minute, 68 minutes in, we made two substitutions. Pulisic came off and Reese James came on. Hakeem went off and Werner went, um, came on. Um, so yeah, so... 79 minutes in, Mount came off and Callum Tsunadoy came on. So we made all substitutions today. Um, and at full time, it was nil-nil. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I haven't really got much more to say, to be honest. Obviously disappointing, we didn't get the win. But at least we kept a clean sheet and we got a point. It is what it is. We've got to take it, haven't we? Um, and also, we've had a lot of fixtures recently. It's been a heavy schedule. And... I'll take that. I thought it, this game, I don't want to sound negative, but I thought this game was going to be the one that would trip us up today. I just had a really weird feeling about it. I mean, it happened against Southampton, didn't it? We drew against them and we were doing really well up until then. We've been doing really well recently, obviously. And I just thought, no, I've got a really weird feeling about this one. Um, half 12 kickoff leads away. Today just might not be our day. I just had a really weird feeling about it. Um, and the fact that we come out with a point, I'll take it. That's all I'm going to say. And um, so, yeah. Now, that's another really difficult game out of the way, in my opinion. It was always going to be tough and um, leads away. So we've got that done now and we move on. We've got some really exciting but um, nerve-wracking fixtures to look forward to um, this week coming. I am so stressed about this week coming. I can't even think about it yet. We obviously take on Atletico Madrid on Wednesday. We're obviously leading 1-0 in that. And I am so nervous. Like, we need to win that game. It's everything. So I'm so anxious about that. And then Sheffield United on Sunday so next week is huge isn't it it's absolutely massive the pressure's on um but we've just got to keep going you know we're doing well at the moment and um, today is job done I'd say um, and now we just look forward to the week ahead which I am buzzing for but nervous as I said and um, so yeah so thank you so much for watching guys please like come subscribe let me know down below all your match thoughts who your man of the match was my man of the match would have to be Mendy today I thought he did fantastic um, and he made some great saves and um, so yeah
guys make sure to stay tuned for all my content in the next coming week because obviously as i said really exciting but nerve-wracking games make sure to stay tuned for that um and yeah up the shelf thanks <laughs>